of the things that I would like to ask, there are many stories, uh, many or some movies about an older guy and a younger woman, uh, but uh, in a way, Autumn in New York uses this as an excuse to analyze human behavior, I think. And I would like to know if this uh, element was what attracted you about the story. Um, I don't know. I, I read it and I thought it was great that that was being addressed and that was being commented on in the film because usually it's not even brought up um, when you see films with much younger women, um, you know, starting with the Humphrey Bogart movies, you know, and Lauren Bacall was 19 and he was, uh, I'm not sure how old, but I thought that it was great that it was being addressed. Um, however, I don't feel that there should be rules I, I don't think we can really control who we fall in love with. I think it just happens, and, and um, I'm not opposed to it, a relationship like that. I just think um, as long as it's uh, reciprocal and consensual and, and um, the love is on both sides, then, then it's really, really okay. So I, I looked at it more as just a, a love a love story about um, a girl who's got, you know, a year to a year left of her life and what she wants to do with it, and this and this guy who comes along who has no idea how to how to be in love, and she kind of takes that as a challenge and sort of, you know, they fall in love. I think love has no rules. In a way, we, we all take time from, for granted. And I would like to know if uh, becoming Charlotte or playing Charlotte uh, made you aware of um, time in a different level. Yeah, it did. It's a really good question because um, that's exactly what I really, really... I think that's, in a way, that's why I did the movie. Because I, um, I find with what I do, I have this amazing job and I travel all over the world and I film in incredible cities, some of them like terrible and horrible and, and some beautiful countries and, and when you work, and I've been working since I was 12 years old, you just go to work and you do the job and sometimes you do forget to look around and see the incredible place you are at or that old phrase of stop and smell the flowers or enjoy the moment or when you take a, t a sip of tea and you know taste the tea and and feel how it goes down your throat and that the beauty and like the tiny little details and I think if you or I found out that we only had a certain amount of time left to live we would want to experience everything um, everything physical, everything is, we would want to make everything as tangible as possible. How is it uh, for you working with uh, Richard Gere, who is an icon, he's been around for many years, and he's an yeah. icon of American movies. And yeah, I, I had a great experience with him. We were really, um, from the minute that I met him, I just, we got along great, and I have a lot of respect for him. He's, he's really, um, kind and, and very generous and he, he has great ideas. Um, he's very sort of loose in the way that he works. He's open um, and he's a really, he's as beautiful inside as he is on the outside. I'd like to know if you can tell us a little about the Charlotte's wardrobe. I understand you brought your own clothes. Yeah, I wore actually the majority of the clothes that I wore were my clothes and were vintage. Um, that just sort of happened because um, I sort of saw her a certain way and um, there I saw her as, as loving old things, vintage clothes, and um, I have a lot of vintage clothes. I'd like to know, John Chen, this is her second movie, her first American film, and. Uh, the film for me is very unique, it's very, uh, it's not mainstream the way the story, you haven't seen it, but it's really uh, wonderful the way the story is being told mm -hmm. visually too. Uh, I would like to know uh, how was your experience with Joan Chen and what makes her unique? And I just loved working with her. She's, um, 
I knew, of, obviously, of her talent as an actress, and so I wasn't concerned at all about her in terms of a directing me as an actress. Um, and uh, you can tell right from when you meet her that she's incredibly smart and that she is one of those people who doesn't take the details for granted, that she really, um, she sees things and she sees things in New York that New Yorkers probably don't see. Um, she's, she sees beauty in things that you, we may not see. She's, she's very unique, very gifted. Um, Why not? I would like to know what, what, what criteria that you use when, when you choose a script. I know that you produce some of your movies as well. And yeah, um, just uh, instinct, really. I, if I feel compelled, if I feel like it's something that I must do, then I do it. If, if it's very simple, actually. People think it's a whole process, but it's either reading something and uh, going, ah, mm -hmm. Or reading something and going, I have to do this. How difficult is it to be a part of popular culture? I don't, think, I don't know how popular I am in popular culture. I, I don't live a life that um, puts me there. I live a pretty simple life. Um, I don't live uh, in Hollywood and I don't, I don't uh, run in those circles.